Hello everyone and welcome back to Midwest Mood and Food. Today I'm going to show you my top five picks for visiting Nashville. Everyone knows it's the home of country music and bachelorette party central, but today I'm going to show you some other areas to visit when you go to Nashville. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. So not only does Nashville have live music, it has live comedy as well. So my number one tip is go see a comedy show. You're gonna find two great venues for comedy in Nashville. One is Zanies, which brings in huge talent and they have shows throughout the week and the weekend and also Third Coast Comedy. That is in the Marathon Village, which I'll talk about in a few minutes, but that also has stand-up comedy and also some improv. And you might even see our daughter. She is a newly stand-up comedian located um, in Nashville. Okay, so do you like antique cars? My number two tip is visit Marathon Village. Marathon Village is located north of the Gulch and it was Marathon Motor Works, an old uh, automobile factory, but now it has a whole host of retail shops. Not only does it have the Third Coast Comedy, which I mentioned before, but it has the Jack Daniels General Store, it has the American Pickers store, which is antique archaeology. It has a coffee shop, barista parlor. It has home decor. It has distilleries. And outside the building um, is a spot to take your photos. It's the I Believe in Nashville mural. So make sure you stop in there. Plenty of things to do at Marathon Village. So make sure you've got Marathon Village on your list. So my number three tip is visiting East Nashville. If you like the eclectic vibe, if you like a vintage vibe, the last time we were in East Nashville, we caught this wonderful market. There was all kinds of food trucks outside and inside the building was vintage clothing, vintage jewelry, homemade things like candles and more jewelry. It was awesome. Not only can you catch vintage finds, but you might even catch a market and there's plenty of places to eat. There's Five Points Pizza, which their pizza is amazing. There's Margo uh, Cafe, which is awesome. We had a great breakfast there. Chef's Deli, if you like bakery items and goods, also great for lunch. And there's a really cool bar there called Urban Cowboy, which we stopped in and had a great time there. So definitely, if you're looking for the eclectic vibe, if you want a vintage feel, definitely visit East Nashville. My number four tip is visiting the Gulch. If you want to break away from Broadway, this is a perfect spot. It has shopping, it has two hotels, and it has also restaurants. The two hotels are the Thompson and the W Nashville, which is uh, fairly new. And also, um, if you want to get your shop on, there's Lululemon, there's Urban Outfitters. There's also a candle store called Patty Wax, where you can go in and you can make your own candles. And if you're looking for something quick to eat, there's Milk and Honey, there's Biscuit Love, um, and there's several other uh, restaurants right around in the Gulch. It's a great break and it's, um, it's a really nice spot to go and uh, spend your day away from Broadway. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you back to Broadway for my last tip, tip number five. Visit Fifth and Broadway. We have been there so many times and it's awesome. The lower level has retail shops. You've got Ariat, you've got Tacovas, Free People, you have Sephora, and don't forget your military ID. If you've been in the service and you have your ID, I know for sure Ariat offers 15% of your purchase, 15% off. Also on the lower level is Hattie B's, our favorite Nashville hot spot for chicken. It's awesome. But if you don't, you're not in the mood for Hattie B's, then upstairs is the Assembly Food Hall. You have the north side and the south side, and there's plenty of quick bites you can get to eat and sit down and enjoy yourself. 
and there's views of the Ryman and views of Broadway. It's just an awesome spot to shop and um, chill out for the day before you head down Broadway and hit all those honky tonks and all those bars. And here's a bonus tip, 12 South. It's a half mile down 12th Avenue South. And you've got more shopping, you've got more restaurants, there's a coffee shop, and there's one of our favorite places is Five Daughters Bakery. It's home of the 100 layer donut, and they are fantastic. All in all, it's a great time whenever you visit Nashville. We've been there plenty of times, and every time we enjoy ourselves. Plenty of things to see, to do, music, comedy, all kinds of things to do in Nashville. So enjoy yourself and have a great time. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.